Hey everyone, I'm Mark Saltzman for the Entertainment Software Association of Canada. In this video, we're going to cover how to take advantage of the family settings built into the Xbox Series X or S console. In fact, there are three ways parents or guardians can do this. On the Xbox itself, on the web, or what we're going to cover here via the Xbox Family Settings app, which is available for free on iOS or Android. Available at the App Store or Google Play, the Xbox Family Settings app can help parents easily manage their children's gaming activities on Xbox, all from your phone and in real time. As you'll see, you can manage what your child plays, what apps they can access, establish spending limits, and set limits on how long they play. If your child wants more time, they simply send you a message and you have the choice to quickly let the gaming continue. After you've downloaded and opened the Xbox Family Settings app, you'll be prompted to sign in with your Microsoft ID, which is your email, phone number, or Skype name, and your password. As a parent or guardian, you are considered the organizer of your Xbox console and family group. Now select the tile for your member's account that you want to manage and then select the settings icon in the top right corner of the screen. Alternatively, you can select the settings icon at the bottom of the family screen and then select the tile for the member's account that you want to manage. To set an age limit to block games, apps, and content you deem as inappropriate for individual members in your family group, Select Content Restrictions, and then under Apply Age Filters, change the age limit that you want to apply to the member's games, apps, and other content. Any content that has a higher rating than the selected restriction needs an organizer's approval. These restrictions are based on the familiar ESRB rating, such as allowing games rated E for everyone and E10 Plus for kids age 10 and older. But you might not want games played that are rated T for teen or M for mature. Now, if you don't want your young kids talking to others while gaming online, you can adjust online communication levels by going to settings and then selecting the social tile to view or change how members can communicate with other players while online. Organizers can also customize customize whether members can follow other gamers. Note that some games allow for cross-network communication with players outside of the Xbox service. To adjust these settings, select the cross-network play tile and then select the communication level for the member in your family group. Next, you can set screen time limits. Select the tile for your member's account that you want to set a screen time limit and select the screen time tile. Under Schedule, you can view the time limits that you've set, or those that appear by default, in a grouped or expanded view by using the buttons that are above the list of time ranges. Select the schedule that you want to change, and choose between the Days of the Week option, Time Limit, with time increases by 30 minute increments, or Time Range, such as only allowing Xbox Play from 7 to 9 p.m. on weeknights, as an example. To grant an exception, select the tile of the member whose screen time you want to adjust. Select the screen time tile and then under activity, select add time now and you'll be prompted to choose between various incremental times or you can allow screen time for the remainder of the day. This same app also lets you block multiplayer games altogether, or you can allow or block cross-network play, allow or block access to clubs, prevent any purchases to be made, and much more. It's all here and easy to follow. Finally, you can prevent a member of your family from overriding restrictions by securing your account with a PIN code you can use as an alternative to your Microsoft email and password. I'm Mark Saltzman, thanks for watching, and be sure to visit theesa.ca for more info. And of course, happy Xbox gaming.